Sex offender and billionaire Jeffrey Epstein is still big news this week. In particular, how different state sex offender laws have allowed him to escape tougher scrutiny. And Mary, New York Times pulled New Mexico's, quote, more lenient, unquote, sex offender registry law into its own reporting. And I got to tell you, a lot of folks around the state right. watched that and went, oh, we just right. seized up. But we've got to do something here. All right, the AG's on this. He apparently wants to, uh, you know, registering as a sex offender is a difficulty here. Where are we now on these laws here in sure, New Mexico? What's sure. sort of the roundup? That's really the interesting thing, yeah. hearing about that. I mean, because at the time, just to get a little Please. background mm -hmm. history, in August of 2010, New Mexico was notified, the Sheriff's Department was notified that he had been, he had pled guilty. Mm -hmm. Epstein had pled guilty, so he has to register as a sex offender, and mm -hmm. he was registered. Two days later, um, sorry, guess not, because you don't fit under our laws, because New Mexico has the age of consent law for age 16. Mm -hmm. So it's 13 to 16 if you have have sex with a minor, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So that was the issue, okay? And the age of consent law, and you, you know, the, a lot of states have 16, a lot of them have 17, and right. others are 18. Right. So that's what I think that the problem is. I see. Except where New Mexico's law is, is if you're in a position of power, if you did this forcibly, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But how could that, how could it be consent, 16, because the law is if you're co coerced. That's right. And you're really hearing that these these women, these, these young girls, were coerced. Mm -hmm. So, and very interesting, at the time in 2010, our governor was Bill Richardson. The um, attorney general was Gary King. Gary King's family sold Epstein the ranch. So you're wondering, mm -hmm. is there that kind of connection? Is right. what is, you know, is what going on? So I think that overall the answer you're, main question. Mm -hmm. I think that now people in the state are going, seriously? It's 16? Right. It is news to a lot of people. That yeah. is going to be in the forefront. Yeah. You know, I think yeah. that's going to be the forefront. And get rid of the Romeo and Juliet laws, which which say if you you can have be under the age of 18 as long as there's like a four-year difference Ridiculous. in there. Which right. is Sounds like something from the 1700s. It does. It's bizarre. It does. Right. It does. Right. God. So. Michael, again, this what Mary's talking about is that nexus between power, money, access, all that stuff that makes politics the thing we all are frustrated with today. <laughs> New Mexico obviously is not immune to this. What do we do about this? I mean, uh, it just seems to me there's more coming in this story that New Mexico is going to be the national news again with this fellow, as well as Florida and other places. But well, I, I think awful. to your point, the you know it. Again, it points out what having power and privilege allows you, mm -hmm. allows you to do, mm -hmm. and allows you to get away with. Right. And um, you know the, the sort of the 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 the, 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 <clears throat> the circles that he moved in. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's really interesting who are those who are those people, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, and what. What, what, what does that say about this country? What does it say about this nation? Right. Um, and um, I think it, it really is is a, a reflection of of to to the point you made earlier. Mm -hmm. Sort of like this is like watching one of these medieval English uh, scenes where the lords of the manor right. can have whatever they want, can do whatever they want. That's right. There is no there is no there is no justice under the law, right? And we, in fact, uh, are sort of mimicking that. Mm -hmm. And and then it calls in. I think it calls into question for everyone else. Well, is there? Do we really have justice in this nation? Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Especially that's from, equal. for minors as well. That, that's is it equal. justice for minors. Yeah. That's equal. Exactly right. Bravo to Hector Baldetas, though, for mm -hmm. for doing this. That's for, right. For mm -hmm. saying, wait a second, New Mexico. If, if a crime was committed here, we are looking right. into this. And, that's right. And we need to change our laws. And so good for him. That's for right. Doing that. it, it is a good thing, right. though. I was about to get to that. Right. That is a good thing, Jeffrey. Right. These things come up, and we take a look. And we go, oh, we're all shocked, and then we can do something about it at the very least. Mm -hmm. The worst thing would be to do nothing, of course. Yeah. 
So you know, do you feel like we're on track for that? Is that something you, well, you're I, anticipating? Or? To, I want to underscore what Michael said. I, mm -hmm. I think this travesty of justice is so self-evident. I yeah. mean, <laughs> the fact that this guy had power, money, influence, and people lusted to be around that mm -hmm. um, is, is just a travesty. Mm -hmm. it, it, and it, it, everybody sees it. The emperor's not right. wearing any clothes, and that's we right. see it. The thing that's most fiendish about this story when I was mm -hmm. you know, preparing for the show mm -hmm. is the, the systemic almost method methodology he had. He had, he had this like <laughs> machine of process where he would recruit and inventory you know, these, these children right. and everybody around him just kind of looked the other way just to be around that gravity of power. That's right. I think that's the most fiendish thing that we can glean from this. And then of course our laws haven't caught up you know, to that kind of uh, evil but it's just the, the very <clears throat> machine that he put together mm -hmm. to recruit an inventory for many, many years, by the way. That's right. In, what, what in various locations. What does he have right. Well, that's the well, part got, two. Unfortunately, exactly. what does he have? unfortunately he's, got, he's got power and influence, yeah. and right. there's a certain right. part of our human condition that has a kind of a lust for that. Obviously, we, yeah. we, we're not part of that, I, I would hope, obviously. But mm -hmm. I think it says something about about what you were talking about, Michael, that yeah. that absolute power, people will almost forgive it, and the travesty of justice, this right. notion that there's That's justice right. for all, That's right. it, it really doesn't exist in our country. And as we get back to the AG here, mm -hmm. um, he's clearly on the hook here. There's no way he can do a light version of a look at this situation, as Mary right. mentioned. He's got to really go in both yes. feet here and get after it. Political consequences for him, possibly, with this situation? I think there could be political rewards, yes, because okay. if uh, evidently his investigation started in January or February, I was reading today. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So he's been doing this behind the scenes That's for a right. while, and that evidence is going to be passed on to the federal prosecutors if there were crimes in New Mexico with witnesses that can That's be right. documented. But that doesn't preclude that he might go after state crimes. Ah. And he introduced this legislation to tighten up our sex offending reporting laws last session, which okay. everyone ignored. Right. So now that he's coming back, he's not hopping on this. This is something he wanted to do I before. See. I realize. And mm -hmm. to me, the thing that, that's troublesome, yes, we're a federal system, we have a national and state governments, but if someone is convicted of a sex crime in this state, mm -hmm. It should be a sex crime in my state, even right. if my laws are a little different. Right. So I'm not sure that New Mexico's solution, which we should pass, is the only solution. I also think there should be a federal law that demands us reciprocity right. so that, especially when you go from one place to another, there's some states right. where there's a very low age of consent That's still. Right. Yep. And you especially don't for that crime. Yes, that right. crime. And yes. for f tribes especially, you look at tribal governments, um, if they have state registries that are incomplete, if you have federal registries, there's going to be a place where they can go and find people. I and I think that would help make everyone a lot safer. Right. It's going to have to be our last word. Thank you all. Sure. Good stuff on a Friday Thank night. You. Oh, what a Thank week. You. What a week. Thank you all for being here. Okay.